half of the United States Treasury's gold is stored at Fort Knox. Suspend temporarily the convertibility of the dollar into gold or other reserve assets. Gold is currently one of the most actively traded commodities in the world. The name Illuminati actually comes from the Latin plural Illuminatus. People ask me, is it all still there? In the era that I was in, I think I put more hands on precious metal than just about anybody alive. Yo, what's up and welcome back. We got a pretty dope puzzle for you today, but before we get into that, we got to get into this. What is this space age looking contraption you might ask? Well, this is actually a safe. And since we're trying to break into a safe in today's video, I thought it'd only be fitting that this video would be sponsored by Koenig. This video is sponsored by Koenig Safes. Koenig is the perfect EDC catch-all. Basically, if you're looking for something to keep your stuff safe, whether you're at home or you're traveling, you can take Koenig with you. It's super practical. Here's actually my favorite part of this contraption. Check this out. Whoa! There's three access modes to open these safes. You have your RFID card, which you get two of. You can also do the fingerprint scanner or the keypad. You also have two USB ports in here so you can charge other things. It's got a sleek design, it's really beautiful, and it has a very long lasting battery, which lasts you between three months to a year, depending on the usage. So head over to the website by using the link in the description below and use promo code RAMSEY to save 20% off your next order. All right, so before we solve this puzzle, let's go ahead and open up our Koenig safe. I'll never get tired of that. All right, it says here it's 1962. You're sitting with your pals in a stuffy back room of your uncle's pub. It was he who told you about the coup, the robbery of Fort Knox, the location of the gold reserves of the USA. Gold is not the most important goal for you. It is hidden here what is looked for all over the world. Escape Valve really needs to get some better English translation, I feel. <laughs> some of this stuff doesn't make sense. A notorious criminal Al Capone himself laid the mysterious coin in the bank so that no one has ever been able to find it. Once he said, the person who will find it will have the great power of a robber and will be able to open any bank. But I doubt that there is at least one criminal in the world who can find out this secret. Okay. What to expect? Well, only those who brought the treasure to Fort Knox would know. One thing is certain, Fort Knox is one of the most secure places in the country, riddled with mechanisms designed to be uncrackable. Can you prove the opposite, gain access to the vault, and uncover the secret of the legendary treasure? Uh, yes, I can. Here we go. This is it. The Fort Knox puzzle. This thing looks pretty cool, and as with most of these puzzles, I would ask you to hit the like button. <laughs> and we're going to take a look at all sides before we start solving anything. So let's start here. We got a little wheel here. This wheel has arrows here. And it also has a little window right here with small symbols on the inside. Over on this side, are we upside down here? Ah, here we go. Over on this side, we have what looks to be the Bitcoin logo. <laughs> uh, a little window here as well. Over here, we have some levers that go up and down and one two three four they got four slots where they can go to over here oh this looks like the inside of a lock so this right now is stuck and i'm guessing once you find the correct combination that will unlock uh one four seven maybe a number that we'll need here another symbol b a d c d hmm we have a d here we have a b here so maybe it's the order in which this puzzle needs to be solved, perhaps. Also has, also has these dials. And these dials, as you can see, have tiny uh, symbols on them as well. A little tricky to twist. We also have this, which could be another cipher. And at the top, we have the famous Illuminati symbol, which, which is, I'm guessing, going to be the final thing to open here. And on the other side, aha, we have those numbers. Okay, nothing here moves. So normally with these things, there's like a pull tab that gets you started somewhere. I'm guessing because this says B-A-D-C-D, -D, 
I'm going to start with where it says B, perhaps. Hmm. Oh, does this make an image? Oh, that is really stuck right here. So I'm not sure if I'm supposed to turn that right away or not because it is very hard to undo. Oh, there we go. Kind of loosened it up. One, two, three, four, five, six of these, five of these, four rows. We have to look in here maybe. Shield your eyes. Hmm, can't see anything in there. It doesn't turn because this seems to be locked in place and this seems to be connected to this over here. Okay. B, A, D, C, D. And this is one, so my guess is, oh, so the symbol that you have here, maybe it has to be recreated here. So if you look sort of down here, there's an image you can create. And maybe we can find that image. See, this top one doesn't turn. Yeah, that top one is just completely stuck. I'm thinking I have to recreate this image here with that, but since I can't move this top one, I'm not too sure about that at all. There's a B here. Possibly a clue, small arrow. This as well looks like it can come out. Okay, there's a symbol there that matches up to this symbol here. And there are symbols on these as well. Interesting. Why would there be an arrow here? Okay, we got our first tool. What was that symbol? This turn now? No. Three there. One. Oh, maybe I have to make this one. What was this for? Huh. Found that symbol in there. I'm gonna get a pad and paper to write some of these things down. I also have this here, it says number one. There's a tiny symbol like this. One to eight here. I don't understand why that fits there. So this image that I'm creating over the top here, um, I think I have to just find out, maybe it's this, that looks like it goes together, which is just, whoops, which would go along with number one, which would be like a circle and a line like this. Oh, this turns now, by the way. Where were those numbers we had here? Uh, 147. Uh, those look a lot like the numbers that are on top here. So maybe this one looks like it's the top one. So one, four, seven. Okay, that just came out there. Hold on, one, four. Yes. And then seven. Yeah. As you see here, there's a number six. So that is one. Ah, okay, we have to get the symbols correct. So one, let's write two, four, five, 
and six, six being this symbol here. And I think because there are six, those six are gonna give us access to this here. Uh, okay, cool. So then we just have to find whatever number two, three, four, and five are, and we got it. Now for now, I think we have one. Let's see if we can actually put that in here. Aha, right there, look at that. That is the symbol that we drew right here. So that is number one. And number six would be that thing right there, that little check mark, this. Perfect, also I've seen some other symbols elsewhere here. Is there a number here? There's the arrow, is the arrow pointing to three? That arrow might be pointing to three, maybe that's what I'm looking for, maybe. Is it this, is this the symbol for three? Because that fits there, so it could be one of those two. It could be that or it could be this. Great, okay, here I don't know what those do. And then we have D with like a pound sign on the inside, or some of you would say hashtag, I guess. So there's that. What did, did this unlock anything else that I can play around with? That's attached to that. This one's done. B, A, D, C, D. B. If that's three and that's one, that must be two. One, two, three, four, five, six. Five has that little symbol there, so we'll just put that there for now. Four, we don't know. There's no real way of knowing right now, I think. Two, if I put the arrow there, it gives me those lines, so let's just put two as being those two. Now we're just missing four, two, three, four, being this side. Is there anything we can find out on this side that would help us with four? Oh, four. Oh, maybe these aren't correct then. <laughs> four, um, maybe an I, is there an I? Let's see, one, two, three, four. There's a triangle, might be the triangle. Four is the triangle. Let's just try this. Two being those two lines, three being that symbol, four being the triangle, five being the B, six being the negative. Okay, so I'm pretty sure four is correct. I'm pretty sure one is correct and I'm pretty sure six is correct. As for the rest of them, I don't know. So we have a four here. Is there a number here somewhere? There, there seems to be more on this rotating piece. Like I have to pull this out. I think this piece here, oh, maybe I have to push it in. No, I think this piece here might fall out. No, okay. It looks like this piece here might have to fall out instead. And then once that falls out, I, I'll be able to retract that wheel, giving me another number here. What was that? What the heck? All right, this just fell out. I guess this just fell out of here. <laughs> Seems to be the problem. We'll put you right back in there. Um, B, A, D, C, D. I'm not entirely sure that <clears throat> my side counting is correct, but I mean, so far it hasn't really let me down except for the top was four, which kind of messed me up, which was this side here. Wait, B, D, A, C, D, this one, two, three, four, five. We can do this here. B, let's start here. B, B, D, A, D, C, maybe the other way, B, A. Oh, there we go. B, D, or uh, B, A, D, C, D. Now we've unlocked this. All right, here we go. What does that do? What does that unlock? What was number five? It was that. Okay, so we know for sure one is this symbol. We know for sure four is this because of 
the triangle up here. So that symbol, that symbol, that symbol, because the six was found where it said six, which is on here. The five, I'm unsure about. And the only reason I put five there is because again, I counted the sides, like we had side one, two, three, and then four. One, two, three, see how it says three here and it's one here. So I assumed this was side two, four, five, and I assume this is side five and it has a little B here. So, I mean, tentatively, I think that's correct. Uh, two and th three, actually, three was this because that fit into here. So that gave us three, tentatively three as well. And so I guess two would be the only one that's maybe different. Can we just try and break it with two? Just try different ones. If we believe they're all of the other ones are the same. How many do we have left? We can't have that many symbols left. Oh, it's like stuck here. They wanted us to crack it. So the plus symbol, that definitely feels like it's getting looser. Okay, clearly not the correct combination. I'm trying to figure out how we would figure out what the other numbers are. Oh, that looks like a number four, actually. No, but four is already up there. Also, if you notice close to this letter here, there's two, the circles that are beside that are, are different. They're more like, they've got, uh, they've got this little line in them like this. Because all of the all of the numbers have a little circle beside them, like that one. This one has a little circle beside, and none of these rivets or sort of screws have that little line. Why is that so? <laughs> Maybe this is two. Three would be that. Four would be that. I guess five. Then we'd be missing five, and I'm guessing five would be. This one here, no, it's, that would be two. Just kind of replacing the, uh, oh, seems to be stuck now. Replacing the fifth one with the second one, trying out different possibilities here. I don't think that's gonna work though. Now this thing has all of the symbols. This has all of the different little symbols on it. And then we have an arrow here. Why is that symbol there? Oh, never mind. I was correct. That is there. And five was the little squiggly S's, which we found over here. Now, why would they be the squiggly little S's? Oh, if you start here and you go one, two, three, four, five, you get those squiggly S's. And if you were to start on the other side and go one, two, three, four, five, you would get the square. So you had to go down. Why that is, I don't know. That's a, I don't know if that's the exact solution, but that's kind of wild. How else would I know? Why wouldn't it be two or, th you know, because two was over here, I guess next to the two little bolts. Very strange. Okay, regardless, we got a key. I'm guessing the key, that's where that came out of. Uh, so now, how do we open this? Wait, how do we open it then? Is it here? Wait, what? How do we open this? Oh, maybe this, what's this? Oh, there we go. We found a little Bitcoin, cool little compartment in there. And as a result, 
we've got our valuable, what's it called? Boo-boo coin. <laughs> nice. Right, let's put this back. This goes here, that goes there. I like, I love the flap on this. So that closes into that. This should go back in here. There we go. That is now locked. And the one is up top, so that should go here. This will go back in here. Ugh. And I believe we are reset to the beginning. Okay. Well, hot dang. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is the Fort Knox puzzle solved. A lot of fun. Uh, Escape Valve always comes through with these cool puzzles. A lot of them are pretty similar. This one, however, was a little disappointed because some of the... I guess I'm just... I, I just missed something. Because I, I feel like the number two and the number five, I kind of just guessed. And you don't really get that great feeling you know when you solve a puzzle and you're like oh, I figured it out but this time I kind of feel like I forced my way through it a little bit so that was a little disappointing but that might just be me maybe I missed something super obvious that you guys saw you'll probably let me know in the comments below uh, but regardless uh, I'd like to thank you for watching this video thank you for smashing like subscribing yada yada we'll see you on the next one peace